in chapter Act Five, Chapter Two. There are seven. There's seven acts in this game for some reason. Recall so. You know the traditional seven act structure. Right, right. What is that giant hand? Is it out of proportion or is it? It is. Yeah, that's like one of the giant horrible mutants we'll be facing. Awesome. There's one of those thrilling interludes that probably won't make it into the final cut. One nice thing of this two-computer setup I have is it'll be much easier to record stuff live. Oh, that's good. Any time now. Yeah, I, I, I didn't. Okay. So, yeah, we've got this uncooperative door. Angrily stomping open and closed. And the reason I'm, 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 I keep switching back and forth between weapons is that I ran into some sort of bug here that I think like took away my ammunition. When I tried to buy more, ironically. Oh, okay. What? Uh-oh. The burnouts. <laughs> They're coming. Now you have to run. This time you have to uh, open the door, right? Yeah, I need to let... Yeah, I've got to get that handle to let them in. Oh! Someone just wrote, it's a trap in the wall in blood. <laughs> General policy of mine, if you, take, if you see a message written in human blood, you take it seriously. The guy cared about cared about his message that much. He's probably not gonna. <laughs> I just love. Imagine uh, somebody trying to write something else. And, I like that's such a weird thing to do. Very extreme. What, what writing blood? Yeah. Well, I'm guessing it was his own. He probably was like like wounded in an ambush and like scrawled that on the wall with his stump before he fell over. In which case, he actually had surprisingly good penmanship. With a stump. Yeah, I mean, I can barely write that well with like a hand, with an actual hand. Oh, and down I go. AI isn't the greatest at covering you, is it? No, I not exactly. Like, we'll say the AI, the AI companions in this are better than in a lot of games. Hmm. In that they will actually kill enemies and they don't... They aren't constantly in your line of fire. How do you solve that? One of the things I loved in Vanquish is that if you, a guy was in your line of fire, like, say, the main character would actually yell at him to get down. <laughs> and, he, and, he, you know, and he would. That was, that was a nice touch. Oh, okay, let's give this another try this time. Nice pull. Right. I'm not gonna kill that guy, I'm just gonna play with him. <laughs> there! I just kicked... I just hit him so many times. Or he just got bored and... There we go. I'm not sure why that guy just burst. I, thought, I, thought, I guess I thought there were spikes there and I evidently weren't. Alright, let's open her up. Here they come. So this must have been a store. But what store has giant mannequins but also display cases? I don't know, maybe... Jewelry store? But there are, like, I've never seen a jewelry store with mannequins. Okay, I, I've never... I don't think I've ever been to one. I, I'm just guessing here. Um, oh, I got the Asplosion skill shot. You're blowing it up into ass? Something like that. And, uh... Maybe it isn't a store. Maybe it was like a museum. Maybe that was, maybe that's not a mannequin. It's like a statue. Oh. If I recall, remember when, I, when you hit them, I, they, they kind of they seem to like, like they break like rock, like stone, rather than like plastic or whatever. Interesting. I hadn't thought about that.
I wonder what museum they could have on a paradise planet, though. Well, who knows? They could have, like, flown in art from somewhere. Display it here. Now would be the time when I'd ask who would spend their vacation looking at art, but that would be me. I would do that. <laughs> Or maybe this is like maybe this is like like in the Clockwork Orange universe, and there's just sexually explicit art everywhere for no particular reason. Oh. There's the thumper. I'm looking at this. <laughs> I just pump. I just shot, shot him over shot the side. Shoot him. Yeah, over the cliff. Yeah, or at least down. That's actually not a very that much of a fall compared to most of the vertigo kills. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I die again here. Well, you're just kicking guys. <laughs> nice. I, mean, I was Oops. gonna ask you. I hit Ishi with it that time. What are you gonna ask? I was gonna say you do remember that you have a gun. I do. It's just, it's not the best weapon for these guys because they have to aim for those blowy patches. Oh, that's true. But the exploder weapons don't matter, right? No. And there's just marmalade flying everywhere. <laughs> Paddington Bear will be along any minute now to clean up the battlefield. Marmalade. If anyone gets that joke, God bless you. I think that it. I'm sure British people will get it. And nice. there's a bit of... We're, we will find out just what the hell these things are. You may have been wondering. I was trying not to. I thought it might not explain it, so I was just... No, like, they oh, do. Whatever. And they, ex they explain why there's all these bloodthirsty gangs, savages, and whatnot running around. Oh, right! Oh, I kicked it right over Dang. his head! But then I kicked him over the side, so... It, it balances out. That's a scripted thing. That fall I, I, I kind of... One of the things I, re I wish there could have been a sequel to this, I, I would have loved to have had more, like, unscripted environmental destruction. Right. That would be pretty cool. You know, actually, what I think would be hilarious if there were, um, style subtractions. <laughs> like, okay, so, uh... Like anti-skill shots, if you will. <laughs> yeah, well, like, whiffed it. Like what you just what you just did, miss. <laughs> but like they'd be small and like minus five points or whatever. M more more there to mock you than to anything. Maybe not. Right. I, I love doing that. Like you, I hit him with a shotgun and the shotgun didn't hit any of his weak points, but the force of it just sent him over the side. That's one of the fun things about the shotgun. Best part of all shotguns. Did you just try and whip him over the edge? I did, and it, I kind of got in his way, so then I gave him a little boost. Yeah, this game inverts the usual hierarchy where I, I don't like the sniper rifle at all, but I love the shotgun. Yeah. I Like, I guess if you uh, whip them and then don't do anything with it, you'd get, like, minus, minus ones, and it would be, like, slow train to nowhere. Okay. Also, confirmation, Grayson has herpes. <laughs> or had. And actually, I should say, still, and would presumably still has unless they've actually got a cure for that in the future. I'm sure they oh, do. Okay, now this is a, this is a fun bit. There's, see that crashed helicopter with the blades spinning? Yeah. Oh, what would okay. happen if someone were to? <laughs> nice. Now you don't want. You don't. Don't be too shy about getting close to it. Will that suck you in? It can't, yeah, it can kill you. Awesome. But, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Faint heart never won.
fair lady who's impressed by dudes who kick other dudes into helicopter girders. Scared money don't make no money. Exactly. <laughs> Very nice. So will it chop you up or will you just do the regular dying animation? I've never actually fallen into it. Uh, I'm not... I don't think there's like any sort of like special sequence for that. Uh-oh. Big guy. Like, maybe it's kind of sadistic of me, but I kind of like the special dying animations. What, like Dead Space style? I was thinking more like Resident Evil 4. Oh, okay. But yeah, Dead Space is pretty sick about it, though. Same with okay. that, that Tomb Raider game. Okay, now there's a trick to this guy. He's too resilient to just, like, shoot to death. What you do is you, you, you pour fire into him until he until he's, like, bent over. Then you hit him. You slide into him or kick him, and that knocks him back. Then, ow! Then repeat the process. And the bullets won't kill him, but he is getting ever so precariously closer to a certain the crashed vehicle back there. And if you can just drive him back into it. I, the first time I played this, I was just... I was just particularly slow on the uptake that day, and it took me quite a while to realize what I was supposed to do. Why wasn't he taking? Why doesn't he seem to be taking damage? Well, it's definitely oh. not helping you, the game. Oh, there! Is it? Yeah! Nice. Kill the muta burnout. Success. It's particularly an unsafe helicopter that just kept going for that long. <laughs> yeah, you'd think there'd be some sort of like automatic like cutoff. Like, you know, if the... This place is built like crap. The old building is falling apart. No. Something caused that. Like, Something a couple people on the set of Apocalypse Now were killed that way, as I recall. Really? Yeah, like a helicopter got, like, like, like knocked over on its side or something, and the blades, like, cut, cut like, two people down. That's horrible. Yeah. I'm not sure... sure I know there was helicopter-related, and it wasn't like a helicopter crash. That was a, that was sort of a notoriously screwed up shoot. All right, and standard Grayson style. Act five, chapter three. I see we're a bit upset. Hey, there's there's a face we haven't seen in a while on the loading screen. Huh. By the way, folks, I should mention if you are offended by. Racist invective. There is some of that coming up. Not from me, I hasten to add. And I'm assuming not from Nick, although, you know, that's up to him to decide. But Don't test General, me. General Serrano... General Serrano has some un un unfortunate attitudes towards uh, Ishii's ancestry. Awesome. And by unfortunate, I mean he's the most racist motherfucker in the Confederation. Internal logic indicates a low probability of survival. That uh, fucking computer in your skull needs some antidepressants. Ishii continues to be the most awesome character in the game. <laughs> which makes it all which makes Serrano's insults all the more infuriating, really. Uh -oh. That almost sounded friendly. Alrighty. Interesting. I'm back, Jamila. Ah, there's that labored hostility. A little forced, just barely masking your lust madness. Yeah. Wouldn't fall for the crusty pirate who stranded her in hell. 